What is going on everybody? It is Fitzmiller and the Red Car back here with another video. Not one that anybody has been waiting for, but let's get right into it. Today, I'm gonna start putting the interior of my 911 closer to stock. We're gonna pull the cage, put the rear seats back in, put the stock sub in, pull the harnesses, and just make it overall a nicer feeling interior. It really sucks for me to turn around and just have it feel unfinished. Um, I don't need the cage. Nobody can see it with the tint and the harnesses just suck. So in order to fix those things, we have a new seatbelt receptor. We got two of them. I'm gonna have Mike tack on a stud on the Recaros and then these will bolt right up. And then for the OEM sub, I got these OEM sub brackets, shout out Pelican Parts. This isn't sponsored, but hit me up. These are like 12 bucks, so, so easy. And we're gonna be putting in the back seats as well. So that is what we're diving into today. One more thing. I got a new daily. This is my 2003 Infinity M45. This thing's a bad bitch, man. It's a big bitch as well. It's basically like a big body G35. It's definitely not perfect, but it is a perfect daily, if that makes sense. We got the creme on uh, wood, whatever. It's got 85,000 on it. I'm getting ready to do valve covers. Other than that, it runs and drives great. So. I'm not slamming it, don't even say it. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Starting with the seats on the driver's side, there are two eight mil Allen key bolts on the front of the seat. These things were torqued to spit, damn it. Five minutes into this project, I am rethinking everything. Second bolt down. I literally had to use a hammer to break this one loose. Let me see a mallet. Like absolutely zero leverage from here. Hey, we cracked it loose though. Yeah. Ah, there are so many sharp metal things on this motherfucker. Ah. Moving over to the passenger seat. This side doesn't have Allen keys for whatever reason, but a 10 mil over this little John is working. In reality, this is not taking as long as I thought it would. I forgot I had power tools, so our day has just gotten much better. Time to take the second seat out. Oi, come on. Now that we got the seats out, I think I'm just gonna try to get the cage loose, disassemble it in the car, and pull out whatever I can pull out. One bolt is loose. Drag me. Hell yeah. Second one's loose. Next up, we're doing the strut tower bolts. It's just three 16s. Yeah! Can't see shit out of this thing. Oh, please don't fall. Oh God, okay. Not really anywhere for it to go. It is hard enough taking out these three bolts. I have no clue how Cameron tinted these windows with the cage in here, dude. That is fucked up. God damn. All right, so we, the cage is like fully, fully loose in here right now, but I gotta break it down, break it down before I can pull it out of here, so. I don't know how many connection points there are. I think there are just four. One, two, three, and four. That's where we're gonna start. Yeah. Now for the top left, and the last one we'll have to do is at the bottom. I found two more Allen bolts on the opposite sides of these top corners. Yeah! All jokes aside, I think it should come out after we get this bolt out. So, the roll gauge is in two pieces, and I don't know why I thought this was gonna be not this heavy, but like low key, this is, this is pretty heavy. Yeah! Yeah, damn! Uh, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. This is terrifying. I don't want to like bust a window in here. Oh my god. All right. Second part of the cage is out. Oh my god, that is fucked. The 
next step now that it's kind of chill back here <laughs> not dude who is expected to sit back here for real like i'm serious as i can be right now <laughs> dude they were not joking holy shit okay the next oh my god the next thing we're doing is putting the sub in with those sub brackets i showed you earlier and then the seats and the rest so i don't know how this shit comes out but it's first <sighs> Okay, okay, yes! All right, so check this out. Our sub wiring is still here, which is hype, and we have these mounting plates to where our brackets are gonna go. Everything's looking good so far. See that, made in Germany. Spread game too crazy. They're 12 bucks. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Found a screenshot of mine of how these little brackets go. It's hard to see. They're gonna be oriented like that. Little 10 mils. All I'm gonna need to find are like long bolts right here that connect to the sub itself. When I went to Virginia, Vaco wanted to install this big ass sub with Velcro. I heard a tissue box in a car accident can kill your ass. I am not letting a sub just be Velcroed back here. All right, let's go get the sub and make sure it lines up. The electrical connection, yeah, it's right here. We are gonna plug it in and confirm that it works first before bolting this all the way up. It should work, but I just wanna make sure. It works. This shit fucking bumps, bro. For stock audio. I'm getting ready to put this carpet piece back in because that's what the sub itself sits on. And then we're gonna put these top of the strut nuts back in, tighten them down. Then we'll move on to putting the rear seats back in the sink. Here's what it looks like with all the carpet back in the rear. And now we're just gonna slide the sub right over these little brackets. Yeah. You guys see how much better this looks? Just a nice flat shelf right here. So good, so good. Not to mention the audio quality is through the roof. This has got to be the best feeling in the world, vacuuming under the seat. The bottom half of the rear quote unquote seat is literally just this plastic pad. It's held in by these little johns that are velcroed on the bottom and they clip in to the seat. And just plop it. Now the tops of the rear seats are in. All I've done is screw in that little bracket right there on each side of the back of the seat. This was a little piece that goes between the two seats. I just used a little piece of copper to fit between those seats and it just holds it down in the middle. The seats don't rattle, and they click in fine. So that is so awesome. This is so awesome. Ugh. What's going on, chat? Big brain idea. I don't have to weld anything. If you'll notice, yeah. This little guy right here is where the harnesses went. I am just gonna slap a nut and bolt through there. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna have a lap belt like by tonight. So after I finish getting these harnesses off, we're gonna run the hardware store, get a nut and bolt. If you guys remember, this is the bolt that was holding in the driver's side. There were four of these. These were the fucked up bolts holding in the passenger seat. We just got back from the hardware stove. We got, we got some bolts. So we got the correct bolts to put in the passenger seat. Now they'll match. And then we got a nut and a bolt. Oh, that was right on your toe. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Sorry about that. We got a bolt and a locking nut combo for the seat belts. So I don't even have to weld anything or get anything welded. Getting ready to attach the seat belts, put the seats back in and we'll be good. All right, we got our side of the seat here. We have fun fact, this is a washer from the pack that I put the Skyline on washers. So same washer, we're gonna pop it through that. And then we have our locking nut, put our bolt through here. We're gonna slide our washer over the back, put our bolt through there, slip over the seat belt receptor to finish off the metal sandwich, we have the locking nut. 
And that is solid. Pop our washer and our bolt through. Sandwich with the receptor and our locking nut. Seats are ready to go back in. Hey. <laughs> stock seat belts are great and all, but oh my gosh, these seats do not fit in here with the stock receptors. Whoa, that's my balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, it's being a bitch and a half trying to tighten down these seat bolts. We're almost done, and I got one more seat. Four more bolts left, people. Four more bolts, and we'll be done with the shit. This seat's whooped my ass. Guys, this car is taking a toll on our relationship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and roughly six hours later, we are completely done. So let me show you what it looks like. It doesn't look all that different, especially because of the tint. But where the magic happens, no more K. We got the seats in front and rear. We got the audio. We got full audio capabilities. And we got the Recaros with, count them, with ah, stock seat belts. We are done. Honest to God, I thought this might take three days <laughs> to do everything. First time wrenching on a car, like this in depth, in a minute. Very happy it went well, other than that one bolt. We're all good to go. Interior of this thing is like 95% done. I wanna get rid of the sussy mats and we'll be good. How about the last thing to do to the car to get it back up to speed is the front lip. The tow company, as you guys know, they paid to fix it. So I got the new lip and it's getting sprayed and put on Monday. That is gonna be it for today's video. Time to clean up and fucking just sit my ass down for a second. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the interior. I feel like it's gonna be a split, 50-50. A lot of people in the beginning said absolutely hell no, keep the cage, you're dumb. It feels a lot nicer, looks a lot nicer. I'm ready to enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Fitzmiller, The Red Car, and Katie back with another video. We'll see you guys in the next one.